What's up with you? I'm trying to edit this video and I've only got one speaker. The other one's not working. Well, this one? Yeah. Why? I said it's, it's, it's just stopped. It stopped the other day and it's just really hard to edit videos. It's just so annoying, man. It's so. Well, what are we going to do with it then? I mean, I could try and take it apart and see, and see if I could... Wait a minute. Why are you, don't we? Oh, are you think what we, I'm thinking? Why don't we take it apart? Yes. Combine it with a Bluetooth speaker. Yes. And create the best Bluetooth sounding speaker ever. What a sick yes. idea! Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, this will be the uh, this will be the new KRK that can go on my desk. Oh right, well, right. So at least now I can edit my videos yeah. with another speaker. But for the time being. Let's 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 mess around with this one. Let's see if we can make the best Bluetooth KRK audio speaker. Sweet. So we're gonna need some tools. Gonna get my drill bits, uh, my drill, some screwdrivers, um, and I think, yeah, I think that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Right, so we'll have a little workstation just down here, and we can put our KRK here, open her up, and see about installing a Bluetooth speaker. What Bluetooth speaker should we use? Should we use that Astro one? Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, use the Astro speaker. Yeah, it's definitely use that. There's no way we're using the Bose or the UE Boom. No way. Yeah, we we'll use the Astro one. Oh, oh, blimey. Oh, blimey. Excuse me. That's KRKs everywhere. Right, so I'm going to take this thing apart now and see what's actually inside it. See if we can actually fit a Bluetooth speaker inside of here. I've just got the Astro over in the bathroom on charge, uh, just so it's got a full battery for when we actually want to utilise it. Here we go, let's just undo all of these things right here, like so. And as you can see in there, you've actually got the speakers in there, you've got your dome tweeter there, and you've got your sub port and the actual port outside of the subwoofer, so hopefully we can just... Oh yeah, they come off really easily. So you can just pull those off the back of the speaker. And that's it, those were the two cables that connected to the tweeter and the subwoofer inside of the speaker, and that's all the circuitry on the back, which we now no longer need. We're just left with a nice cabinet with a uh, speaker driver, with two speaker drivers, and we've got a tweeter there, and we've got our subwoofer driver there and our sub port just there. It's even got the cable for the Light Up KRK logo on the front. The Astro speaker's got a light on it, hasn't it? Yeah. It does, doesn't on it? On the top, on the button. Uh, on the button. Maybe we can, maybe wire we can it into that. wire it into that so that this light lights up so you can tell when the Bluetooth speaker's actually on. That would be so sick. That would be so cool, wouldn't it? Right, so it looks like what I've gone ahead and done is just disconnected the terminals from the speakers, but I actually don't want to do that. I need the speaker cable to work with. So I'm just going to cut these off right here, like that, that one there, and that one there. And now we've got our two speaker cables that we can now reattach to our speakers, and then hopefully attach them to the outputs on the uh, Bluetooth speaker when we take it apart. All right, let's see if this little badger works then, and we'll do a sound test now to see if it actually sounds decent. Yeah. That's what we sounded like at the moment. Zedon production. Right, so that works now. Let's try and take this thing apart, turn it off first, before we try and rip it to pieces. Get the good, there we go. Here she is, here she is, here she is. There's a metal plate. So you take her off, and there's a metal plate on the front which reveals the subwoofer and two speakers. Now what we can do is actually... Oh, it turned itself on. What are you doing, Astro Speaker? How rude. Now what we can do is put our screwdriver in here and then take all of these apart and this is where we're going to see if we're actually going to be able to do this or not because we'll see how complicated it is on the inside. Right, Jed's joined us, he sat down there, he's just chilling. We've taken out the last screw and hopefully this thing is just going to pop open nicely. It's going to play nice, aren't you Mr Astro? We found the culprits, turn off Astro. Don't be naughty, do as you're told. Right, so what we're going to do now is where's my scissors? So here's the cables that go to the two speakers either side. The sub in the middle is actually a fake. I, did, I didn't. I thought it was an actual sub. It's not even a sub. It's just a radiator. Pretty much what it does is it just vibrates to the air that's already inside the cabinet. So what we're going to do is just disconnect the two speakers from the front of that. So now that is all the front plate really was. Just just two speakers like that. 
And then what we can do is just before we go ahead and actually fully install this thing, we can connect it up and see if it actually plays. If this works, I'm going to go mental. <laughs> no way. Then how am I here? Big man like me with a beard, look how am I scared? Not the back one, it's gonna sound awesome! <laughs> The main, th the main reason, because that isn't heavy. Do you want to, do you want to unscrew all that stuff off yeah, there well, then, yeah, while yeah. I just undo this? Yeah. If you like bass, get a KRK, get an Astro, and whack them together. <laughs> right, so what I'm doing is just lengthening these cables with a bit of extra cable on here, um, just so we've got a little bit more room to play with uh, the Astro circuit board, because this thing's really fragile, so I don't want to have to work really close to it, I'd rather just have to rest it on here instead of having to like lean it in there because the cables that come with the KRKs are admittedly very short because all they've got to do is attach to the circuit board in the back of the KRK unit itself so what I'm going to do is just lengthen them here uh, so I've got a little bit more uh, a little bit more flex to play with right so I'm going to take the back of this unit apart just to see if I can get access to that LED uh, system so I can actually connect the LED on the front of the KRK up to the circuit board we do. If this works, mate, we're going to the pub tonight to celebrate with a few beers. Yes. And I get a pull. Nice. So we'll cut that off like so, and then bear these two wires this end, which I'm going to separate them fully. What are you actually doing? What I'm, are you doing to it? I'm taking. I've detailed the back a little bit. Oh my god! Look at that. So you've got duct tape in there. That's, That's really cool. Little bit of silver. So the button, the... the button goes through that. Yeah, that is that. That is so cool, so that's your on button. Yeah. Custom on button. Is that in there? No way. And then on the back, taking all the volume knobs off. Fresh plate. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to get this LED to light up on the front, but it's going to be so difficult. Like, so difficult. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, no. I'm putting money on it not working. Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news. KRK sets on fire. No one buy them. Because when you plug them into charge, they set on fire. Think about it. A KRK speaker is £115. This is 80 Let's say about two hours labour to make each speaker. Set up for 250, wireless KLK, can't mess about. Right, these two cables, do not touch them. It's fine, we'll just have the two screws to take off every time we want to charge it. Unless we just constantly keep it connected and just run the power out the back and then when you don't want to charge it, you can just coil it up. What well, I was gonna, that would work, actually. <laughs> Where do you know me from? Where do you know me from? Where do you know me from? Right, so I've just glued the circuit board inside of there pretty much, and now it's time to put this acoustic foam back inside of here so it sounds absolutely awesome. I need to try and get it around the outside of this KRK. These are the little speakers that were in it before, and now it's like powering a KRK. I honestly didn't think it would be that loud. I'm hoping it's going to sound really cool. Did come on then? It's flashing like white though, but it's not actually on the other... Did it come on though? Yeah. <sighs> Right, so I think after about an hour, maybe, we have finally finished our product. This is the Jed and Alex BRK system. It's a Bluetooth portable KRK. Now, I haven't heard it myself. Jed hasn't heard it yet. We've got the back on it. We want to take you through some of its features first. So on the back here, you can see that we've got our actual button which is used for turning on and off the speaker uh, and pairing uh, it to your device and it also is red when it is charging which is this cable here uh, unfortunately we couldn't put an external plug on it so what we've had to do is just have it coming out the back uh, what we can do is that's just gonna have to stay there obviously you don't have to plug it in but you can't take it out which is the only annoying thing really but that's not too much of a big deal but pretty much what you do right you hold this in and it'll turn on connect to my phone via Bluetooth Right, and I'm going to play a song. And I can change the volume from my phone. Just turn it up and down. 
and change the Is track. The LED, wait, the LED should light up to the music. Very slightly. Yeah, that's it. Now I'm back at Ashley's mom's basement. I'm thinking about like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shit on the bike and put the doctors in the hospital, uh, you know, name or something because we got the <laughs> <laughs> There you go. You can literally see we put it in the bath. There's no way this is, is, is there's no way it's fake. Look, it just, it just, it just is Bluetooth. We've even got a bit of Velcro on the back so you can take off the charging cable and put it back on the back if you'd like to. So as you can see, here she is, all finished, our wireless KRK. I think it's time to go and celebrate and put our other KRK up, so let's, let's do that now. I'll bring you guys along for journey yet again, just live here on TechFlow. This is again a, a Christmas special uh, episode of TechFlow, so if you want to see more like cool stuff like this, just totally outlandish, then let us know. And if you thought it was sucked and you want us to be a bit more professional about stuff like all the time, then just be sure to let us know in the comment section down below. But here we have my other KRK to go on my desk so I can actually edit my videos with decent sound quality. Let me just... There we are. There she is. Pretty much what I can do is all the cables are pretty much already on the desk so I can just plant her down like this and give her some plugs. Cheers, Jed! Plug her in. Like so. There we go. Plug her in just there. Put my volume on halfway. How it's meant to be. How it's meant to be. Turn it on and she is on. Let me see if I can play some music through the KRKs in here. And I oh, there we go. So, I've got now sound back at my desk and also a Bluetooth KRK. If you guys have enjoyed this video, as I've said, a like rating would be much appreciated. Me and Jed have been sat here. Look at the mess. We've been sat here for like, I God knows, about an hour and a half, two hours trying to do this. And we've finally done it. It can be done. You can do anything if you put your mind to it, guys. But yeah, Christmas episode of Tech Flow. If you guys have enjoyed that like rating, would be much appreciated. And Merry Christmas from the Tech Flow team. We'll see you in the next one and have a good new year. Adios.